In today's tech review, we're reviewing the YubiKey 4 two-factor authentication USB security key, breaking down how it actually works and answering the question, is a second factor authentication key really necessary? Hey guys, what's up? This is Eric of Immersive Tech TV. And before we start today's review of the YubiKey 4, I just wanna say if after this video, you would like to learn more about the different types of YubiKeys, feel free to check out my other two review videos of both the Fido U2F security key as well as the YubiKey Neo. Also guys, if you would like to try out a YubiKey 4 for yourself, I'll link down below where you can find it online. But with that being said, let's now hop into today's review of the YubiKey 4. With all the websites being compromised in recent years, a lot of our personal data, including our passwords, can fall into the wrong hands more commonly than you might think. Because of this, even long and complex passwords these days are not enough to secure your online accounts. And while nothing in this world is 100% secure, Adding another layer of protection on top of your unique and complex passwords can make it exponentially more difficult for your important online accounts to be compromised. Two-factor authentication, also known as second-factor authentication, is just that, a second layer of security on top of your password that is required to access your online accounts. Without using two-factor authentication, if someone were to hack your password, they could instantly access crucial online accounts such as your email, social media, and even financial accounts. But by using a physical USB security key, one that you and only you have physical access to, you can still protect your account even if your password was ever compromised. The YubiKey 4 essentially adds the second layer of protection to your accounts with multi-factor authentication in order to prevent unauthorized access. Built with a secure element hardware, the YubiKey 4 combines hardware-based authentication and public key cryptography to prevent unwanted account takeovers. The YubiKey 4 supports several security protocols including FIDO U2F, Yubico one-time passwords, and can even act as a PIV compatible smart card. To use it, simply insert the YubiKey 4 into your device's USB slot and tap the gold button. This will instantly activate the key and log you into your account. YubiKeys are compatible with several major services and apps that support two-factor authentication, such as Google, Facebook, and Dropbox. It's compatible with multiple operating systems, including Windows and Mac operating systems, and it's even compatible with password managers such as Dashlane and LastPass. As you can see, the YubiKey 4 is both smaller and slimmer than your standard USB flash drive, and much like a flash drive, it's completely USB powered and does not require a battery or network connectivity. It's also both crush and water resistant and can easily fit on a keychain so you don't lose it. But even if you do lose your YubiKey, you don't have to worry. Most websites that support YubiKeys allow you to add backup YubiKeys to your account as well. And in the event you don't have a backup YubiKey, most websites that support them also allow you to use a two-factor authentication app such as the Google Authenticator app as another backup option. The YubiKey 4 plugs into a standard USB-A port, but if you have a newer device with a USB Type-C port, the YubiKey 4 also comes in another model, the YubiKey 4C, which is compatible with USB Type-C ports. On the other hand, if you have a smartphone with NFC and would like to use your YubiKey wirelessly for logging into apps with two-factor authentication, you won't be able to do that with the YubiKey 4 series since they are only designed for USB-A and USB Type-C ports. However, they do have another model, the YubiKey Neo, which does support both USB-A ports and NFC-enabled devices. So let's take a second to debate the question, is a second-factor authentication hardware key really necessary? Well, honestly, guys, there are a lot of apps out there that do offer free two-factor authentication, such as the Google Authenticator app, as well as the Authy app, and there are countless others. There is also standard text messaging, which can act as two-factor authentication, standard SMS text messaging. But from my research, guys, I would urge you not to use SMS text messaging as your form of two-factor authentication, because it is by far the least secure method compared to Authenticator apps, as well as hardware keys, such as YubiKeys. When it comes to text messaging, many people don't know that their SIM cards inside their phones can actually be hacked remotely, and if someone hacks your SIM card, they can easily access all your incoming text messages, which makes it a very unsecure method. Now, unfortunately, there are some websites, many popular websites that only offer text messaging as a two-factor authentication method at this time. But as we go forward in time, more and more important websites are implementing using authenticator apps, such as the Google Authenticator app, which I really love, and also YubiKeys, which are even a higher level of security than authenticator apps. So at the end of the day, I would say if you're on a tight budget, I would definitely consider using a free app such as the Google Authenticator app or the Authy app as a form of two-factor authentication. It's much more secure than nothing. But if you wanna take your security to an even higher level, I would definitely recommend looking into a YubiKey or other USB hardware security key because this gives you full control 
more control. It's a physical key in your hand, not something that could be hacked remotely. So let me know what you guys think about the YubiKey 4 security key. Do you have any crucial online accounts that could benefit from using a hardware USB key such as this one? And again, if you're not completely sure which is the right type of YubiKey for you, feel free to check out my reviews of two other popular YubiKeys, the YubiKey Neo and the Fido U2F security key right over here to the right. And lastly guys, if you would like to try out a YubiKey 4 for yourself, I'll link down below where you can find them online. Thanks again for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next episode.